Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to another video or today's video is all about Google Meet a lot of teachers have been asking I've been uh, like looking at the, on the internet and looking at the comments uh, as far as the previous video is concerned thank you very much for loving it thank you very much for responding it both on YouTube and Facebook thank you thank you very much uh, I've been uh, listening to and I've been hearing about uh, uh, the teachers they're saying they have a concern that whenever they join a Google Meet classroom sometimes students have the charge to mute people and to remove the kids the other students from the people and they start playing around they start muting each other and they start uh, uh, like removing each other from the class and this is very annoying do you want to get over it do you want your full control of your classroom during the Google Meet classroom this is the video for you. Okay, for this video, I would take you to the screen of my computer to teach you how to do it. So let's go. Okay guys, as you can see that now we are on the screen of our computer and as you can see that I've already made a sample class for you people. You can see if I zoom in that you can see that if uh, your organization or your school has uh, bought the G suit and you're properly you all are properly taking uh, Google Meet classes and using Google Meet you can see that there is a meet link which is created uh, for the students to enter the meeting now both teachers enter the meeting from this link and the students enter the meeting from this link as well now obviously when I click on this link I will enter the meeting now but there is a rule of Google if any of your student enters in the classroom before you go the Google meet will automatically detect and select that person as the host of the meeting and give, will give full control of the class to that particular student to get rid of this annoyance all you can do is when you whenever you're done with the class go to the settings scroll down and you will see that there is an option of meet here you can see this the option of meet and it says visible to the students just click on it deselect it and save it now you'll see that the link there is an icon of an eye which and there's a cross on it there's an icon of an eye and there's a cross that means only you can see this link now your students cannot see this link until and unless you show them what you need to do is you just have to click on it okay you'll start the meet link you uh, all you have to do is you have to join the class once you join the class you go back when you're ready you join you're inside the classroom you go back go to the settings and then reveal this link to the students and then save now your students will able to see it and it'll be joined now every student who joins will join after you so you will have complete control to mute or remove a person from the meeting and your student will, students will have no uh, privilege or no option either to mute someone or to kick someone out of the class that will save you a lot from the annoyance there's another one there's another thing some students what they do they just select the link and they copy and they save it so even if it's not visible they can join the class so to uh, get rid of that all you need to do is go back to the setting and you can just go to the meet and you can just reset the link to reset the link all you need to do is you go, come to the settings and scroll down and you come to meet when you come to meet you click on this link and you click on reset when you click on recent reset the link will automatically reset and then you can just reveal it or hide it from your students this is how your students won't be able to keep it safe and you'll be uh, far away from that annoying removing and muting the students uh, like the students muting the students and the students removing the students you will be easily able to get rid of that so guys hope this video helped you and uh, trust me this is just the tip of the iceberg of what I can tell you I have a lot to share you just have to comment on the video go to the channel subscribe it and leave a comment and I will definitely post a video or whatever you want to know I can tell you a lot of stuff you can use two cameras you can if you don't have a camera you can use your phone as a webcam like there are a lot of things I can tell you how to suppress the noise how to eliminate the noise and how to enhance the quality of the cameras and you name it just come to the channel subscribe it 
and keep me posted thank you very much